ノブテル谷口オフィシャルブログ for 21st April Today I drove Formula car It was surprisingly F1 ノブタニグチテストライブダイリーフォーミュラー1マシーンシズオカフジスピードウェイ This is the third year for this fest We have a great audience for about 20,000 This is very popular motor fan fest Came back to Fuji Speedway This year not only motor fans but also all families and couples can have fun here You can have fun all day watching, touching, and riding, also by shopping and eating. We have many programs for you to experience. BHJ Demo Run. We will show you the most exciting programs here. The Demo Run will be held by BHJ. From now on, it will be an exhibition by BHJ Auction at Home Street. Some of the very rare cars owned by BHJ will run the course. Motor Fan Fest 2018. You can look and ride many cars here, but especially you would better see this one. Like I said, not only seeing, but also you can feel the sound. Including that those machines about to run the circuit are so rare, you can't see them anywhere but here. It will be my last time for sure. I won't live that long, so. Taniguchi was asked to drive this rare machine as a guest driver. BHJ Auction, Kyohei Takada, and today's main character, Nobuteru Taniguchi. Where are we? At Fuji Speedway. What are you going to do? I'm going to drive this gorgeous car. To tell you the truth, this 288 GTO costs 1.2 billion yen. Which is higher, this car or your yearly income?、Mm, my income? I wish I could say that. And you drive one more. I don't want to tell. What is it? Ferrari Formula One. Just yesterday, I was told that I was going to drive this. I was going to drive that Zonda Revolution or this F40 at that time. Then I told them yesterday I wanted to try Formula One. They said okay. I finally reached to F1, starting from Waterfall of Imoze. You don't have to say it. Waterfall of Imoze was Taniguchi's home course back in Hiroshima. Just an ordinary car fan from Hiroshima finally reached F1. He will come back within 1 minute and 20 seconds. No, I won't. F1 course record at Fuji Speedway is 1 minute 17.287 seconds, made by Masa in 2008. This is 1.2 billion yen! Pit reporter Naoki Tsuji. Well, I said it once at some event. Can I see it run? They were like, no, how much do you think it costs to make it run? Isn't this Nobuteru Taniguchi? Is he going to ride the 288 GTO now? This Ferrari 288 GTO, but not a normal 288 GTO. This is called Colzione, especially for racing. It is extremely rare and has great value. The production amount is six. Only six cars in the entire world. This is one of them. It's a racing model based on 288 GTO. It's said to be a prototype model for F40. But it wasn't used for the race. Ferrari made a long Group B homologation. They had to produce a certain amount to pass the requirement. However, they stopped making it after the sixth model. So they never used it for a race. Then they started making F40. Mr. Taniguchi just got in it. He has been a racing driver. I bet he never imagined he would be able to drive such a car. He's so lucky. I'm so jealous. I want him to step on it fully. 
Like I said earlier, the production amount is only six. Two out of six are owned by Ferrari. Only four are out there. Well, he's going straight. I didn't think he would drive it at full throttle. Didn't it just pass us at an amazing speed? This is not a normal speed for a demo run. I thought this car is so very rare. I thought he would drive it with much care. He went fully at straight. This means he needs to step on the brake quite a bit. If the brake went wrong at corner one, it would cost 50 million yen. 50 million for just repairing. Here's full throttle sound at straight. One point two billion. Here's F forty LM in motion. This Ferrari F forty LM. This car is nineteen ninety two F forty. Competizione for racing. This model was made for twenty four hours of Le Mans. I think it was born in nineteen ninety four. Of course, the engine is set at midship with V8 3-liter twin turbo. The racing model has just passed us. Great sound. 780 horsepower LM is at the back. The max speed for LM is 380 kilometers. There are two BMWs today. BMW 3.0 CSL, Batmobile race car, and BMW M1 Pro car. Both are for racing. Alpina has tuned and Schnitzer set the engine. Some are owned by BMW. Many were in the hands of private owners. You could see this car every touring car race all over Europe back then. He's driving slowly and carefully. No, this is normal. This is the right way to treat cars like this. Right now, Mr. Taniguchi is changing cars to Ferrari F187 from 288 GTO to F1 machine. Really? Is Taniguchi going to drive this machine? His head is sticking out from the roll bar. From Ferrari 288 GTO to Ferrari F187? No way. What a crossover. Only people like Nikola Uda can do this. Berger used to ride this. Michel Alvarado's car should be very narrow. This looks very narrow and small. The handle is so close. His helmet is sticking out from the roll bar. He's looking like a Jizo statue. So excited. It's still nice to get to drive. Some rich people buy these kinds of machines just because they want to drive. But it costs a hell of a lot for the whole thing. Like a couple billion yen. Ferrari F187, made for season 4 in 1987. John Barnard improved that model. This engine is 1.5 liter V6, twin turbo, 880 horsepower, a machine used by Berger and Alvaredo in 1987. Berger won pole to win 1987 Japanese Grand Prix in Suzuka with this machine. Zonda Revolution is doing great. That car can travel at a speed of 350 kilometers. 
This car can easily hit 300 kilometers here at Fuji. Pagani Zonda racing models, there exist only 15 in the world. Especially this revolution model was released in 2014. And there are only five in the world. Here he goes at the straight. Good sound. Taniguchi is stepping on it at full speed. That's great. He's having fun. This is great. Here's Taniguchi driving run round on the board. How was it? Great! So happy! It rocked! I have done many races, but till now I have never driven formulas not even one meter. This machine is pretty old, but it's so light. Unlike a car, it only weighs about 600 kilograms. It's so light, I can feel the wind directly. It was exciting and awesome. I drove carefully because I don't want to break it, but I could have enough fun. I'm so glad I was a racing driver.